What's happening? Hello world, welcome to your sixth SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I want to talk to you about how to add files and file groups using SQL Server Management Studio and T-SQL. So, and in particular I want to teach you how using the not master data file extension which is a secondary file. So a little background on all of this. Instead of placing user-defined objects in the primary data file, you have the option of adding a secondary data file to your database. These files are usually distinguished by the file extension. Primary files are usually suffixed with .mdf, which stands for master data file, while secondary files are suffixed with ndf, not master data file. Neither of these is a requirement, however, it's generally a best practice to use these extensions. Now, the secondary data files are often used to spread data across disk subsystems or to add more disk space to a database in the event that the other data files have reached max maximum capacity. In addition to adding multiple files to a database, another best practice is to group the files using file group. When a database is created, the primary file group containing the primary data file is created by default. Additional file groups are then created to ease database administration and typically to group data files together. So, now let me show you how to do this using SQL Server Management Studio. If you're not there, uh, go to Start All Programs SQL Server 2012 and you're going to be pulling up SQL Server Management Studio right here this guy I already have it up go ahead and connect to an instance and once you're here I want you to go to the databases folder here and expand it and uh, in it was either my last tutorial the tutorial before I had you create two databases we created my first database using SQL Server Management Studio and my database too using T-SQL script. So I'm going to first show you how to add files and file groups using Management Studio. So we're going to go here to my first database. We're going to go over here to properties. Then we're going to go up here to file groups. And then we're going to go over here and click add. Now give it a name. How about group one? And select default right there. Make sure that that guy is checked. Now that we've done that, we're going to go up to here where it says select a page and we're going to go to files. And then from here, we are going to click add. And then here, under logical name, let's give this a name. How about FSMS1? All right. Now, here in the file group column, we're going to click and then we see the drop down. We want to make sure we have group one selected that we just created. We do. Now, we're going to go over here to the path column, click, click the ellipsis button. And we want to browse to SQL data. Or a couple of tutorials ago, I had you create the SQL data and the SQL log folders on your C drive. Make sure that's selected. All right. Now here in the file name, we're going to give this a name. We're going to call it uh, SS. Excuse me, SSMS one. And then we're going to give it the .ndf extension so we know it's not master data file. All right. And then we're going to click OK. All right. So that's how you do add files and file groups, a real brief overview using SQL Server Management Studio. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same using a T-SQL script. And this is going to be... We're going to be adding this to my database too here. Now, before to save some time, I, I have a folder of all kinds of useful scripts, and this is one of them. So I already have this copied and pasted to save some typing time. We're going to click New Query. 
I'm going to click paste. And I'm not really sure why it, I didn't really want it to be laid out in that manner. Hang on just a moment. I know what I did. I copied and pasted all of the keywords I wanted to show up in my YouTube video. That's why that looks so weird. <laughs> Here we go. This is what I want. Bingo. All right. So, as I, I think I explained what most of this means to you last time in a different uh, tutorial where I went over like what name and file name is and max size and file growth. So, if you need to review that, go back to my last tutorial and give you a breakdown. But anyways, you can uh, copy down this script for yourself if you want and save it. Anyways, you're going to execute. And commands completed successfully. So I just did the exact same thing there using that simple T SQL script as I did by walking through all the steps using Management Studio. So there it is. Real simple, easy, brief overview of how to add files and file groups using SQL Server Management Studio and using T SQL. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below in the comments and questions in the comments section. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.